Hey guys, Miss Fearing here. We're going to go ahead and look at Unit 1, Notes 5. This is going to be some real-world applications of some inequalities. So you're going to see some word problems happening here. So some things that you need to ask yourself when solving some word problems here. Is this an equation or an inequality? So when you're looking at that, it's actually going to tell you write an equation or write an inequality. If you see inequality, there are a couple of things that you're looking for then. So an inequality was when you have the greater than, sorry, the less than, the greater than, the less than or equal to, or the greater than or equal to signs. Okay, so these are the signs. When you were in middle school or when you first learned these, you might have learned that like the alligator eats the bigger number. We're still going to kind of use that idea here today. We are going to eat what we want to be the bigger number. Once you determine if you're going to have an equation, equal sign, or inequality, then you're going to say, what am I starting at? Okay, what's the number that I'm starting at? Am I going to increase or decrease? That's going to tell you if you're going to add or subtract from your starting point. And that usually has the variable with it, okay? Because we increase or decrease per day or per year, okay? So that per tells me that's my variable, and then we want to figure out what is my trying to get to? What's the goal? So what do I want to be equal to or what do I want to be greater than? All of those situations. So let's look at this first problem here. Ms. Fearing currently has 2,000 followers on Instagram and is gaining followers at a rate of 15 per day. Her goal is to have 10,250 followers, right? And solve an inequality. Okay, so inequality tells me I'm going to have one of these symbols to determine how many days it will take for her to reach or exceed her, girl, her goal. So I know I'm doing inequality. So now I'm going to start. What am I starting with? Well, I'm starting with 2,000 follower, followers. I'm going to gain. Gaining means I'm going to add 15 followers per day. That per day is what's going to be changing. So that per day tells me that's where my variable is. And then my goal I'm trying to get to is 10,250. So now we need to figure out our symbol that we're going to put here. This is the number of actual followers that I am going to have after each day. Okay? So if x if I went 5 days, I'd plug 5 in for x. If I went 10 days, I'd plug 10 in for x. But this is the actual number of followers, so the total. So an actual number of followers. And this is my goal. So I have to think to myself, do I want the actual number of followers to be bigger than my goal or less than my goal? Well, I want it to be bigger than or equal to. I want my followers to be bigger than or equal to that goal. So now we just have to go and we have to solve that goal. So I'm actually going to write it over here again. 15x has to be greater than or equal to 10,250. So we're just going to solve. I need to get rid of whatever is being added or subtracted first. Well, I'm adding 2,000, so I need to subtract that 2,000. So if I do that, I get 15x is greater than or equal to 8,250. Divide by that 15 then. So I have x is greater than or equal to 550 and then a problem with words needs an answer with words so this is talking about per day so after 550 days i will have more than or equal to my 10,250 followers let's look at this next example here i have miss simmering and she's filling in a poll for loki loki's her puppy to chill in it's currently empty Okay. Water is entering the pool at a rate of two and a half gallons per minute. The pool can hold 1,370 gallons. We want to write and solve an equation this time. So that tells me I'm going to have an equal sign to figure out how long it will take to fill the pool. So we're always going to say, well, where are we starting with? Well, I'm starting with it being empty. So I have zero, zero gallons in that pool. I'm going to add, because it says water is entering... Okay, so that's mean I'm getting more water at a rate of two and a half. So 2.5, this gallons per minute, that per tells me I get that X. That's the thing that's changing. And I want to equal 
1,370 gallons. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to solve this. Well, I can subtract zero, but I technically don't need to because this really isn't here. So we're just going to finish solving by dividing by that 2.5 because we're undoing the multiplication. So x is going to equal 548, and we need to put a label with it. So since it says gallons per minute, that minutes is what I'm going to write down. All right, so last problem here. You have a social distancing pizza party with your friends. No worries. We're only going to have a max of 10 people. You have $18.50 to spend on pizza. It costs $14 plus 75 cents for each additional topping. We want to write and solve an inequality. So inequality tells me I'm going to have one of my symbols again, right? So what are we starting with? Well, I am starting with the $14 that the pizza is actually going to cost me. And then I am going to plus the 0 0.75 for each is like saying per, right? Per. So that tells me I have the X with it. And then we know that I only have $18.50. So in this situation, this is what I'm spending. And this is what I have. So do I want to spend more than I have? No, I don't. So I need what I have to be greater than or equal to. I could spend 100% of what I have. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to solve this now. So I'm going to do 14 plus 0.75x has to be less than or equal to 1850. So we're going to get rid of whatever's adding or subtracting. So I get 0.75x is less than or equal to 4.50. And then we're going to divide by 0.75. So x has to be less than or equal to 6. And remember, I need that to have per additional topping, so I can have up to six toppings. All right, word problems are not the easiest, you guys. I understand that. So if you have questions, please reach out. Let me know. Um, Schoology message or just coming up, raising your hand. Those are all the best ways to get a hold of me. Good luck on the assignment.